Yo. He's ready, guys. He's ready. Cross your fingers. Ready? It's gonna happen. Ready? Go for it. It's already getting dark out, but I got the flat fixed on the Daily Odyssey. So now it's time to work on the Turbo Race Car Odyssey. So I picked up a couple more things for the van today. We have a fuel rail, got some headers just to run it for a little bit if we can get it to fire up, and uh, some spark plugs as well. Uh, we're gonna get these things thrown on there, and if we can figure out the cranking issue, then I think there's a chance we might be able to fire it up tonight if everything you know is working correctly. So yeah, we'll see. We also just got the valve cover on, so that's tightened down. It still does need oil, and I'm gonna be borrowing the distributor off of my hatch and we'll just throw that on there real quick just to see if we can get it to fire up. All right, so we're gonna start off with trying to figure out why it won't crank. Uh, you guys blew up the comment saying it was the neutral safety switch and uh, there's a pretty good chance it's that. I honestly had no idea where that was at. I honestly thought it was maybe something, you know, like under the dash, but it turns out it's right here on the side of the old motor, right on the side of the transmission. So we're gonna try to pull this off and plug it into the harness and hopefully that fixes our cranking issue and hopefully it will crank over. So we're gonna pull this off real quick. All right, let's try that out. All right, so the plug for it is right down here. Plug that guy in. And uh, let's plug the battery in. All right, now let's see if it cranks. Let's see if she works. Nope. Still nothing. Hmm. All right, so we figured it out. So this uh, switch right here tells the harness or whatever if it's in neutral or park. And I'm not sure where it's at right now, but right where you can feel it click, that's where I left it because it wasn't in that spot originally. And uh, right when it's in that spot, it will crank over. So yeah, let's try it again real quick. All right, just gonna go baby on it because uh, there's still no oil in the motor. Oh, that's it right there. So it cranks. So now that we figured out how to make her crank, I'm gonna pull the distributor off my hat and swap it over. I tried to find one today. I went over to PFI and stuff, but Brent didn't have any extras laying around. So we're just gonna borrow this one for today. See if we can get it to fire up. All right, made the wires reach. And uh, I think we should run to the parts store real quick and get some, you know, just some breaking oil for this thing so we can at least crank it. And uh, I want to check for spark and make sure that the distributor is working before we throw all the spark plugs in. And then from there, we'll get the fuel rail on and hook it up. And I guess, see what happens. Let me get some of that O'Reilly special. Yeah, 10.30. Oh yeah, she's good. She perfect. She good. So we were trying to put the fuel rail on, but it barely hits on the EGR valve right here. So we're gonna have to take that back off and I'm just gonna borrow my uh, block off plate off the hatch so that we can get this to uh, fit. So we ran into an issue with the fuel rail, but we got it figured out now. We had to run to Home Depot real quick and it's kind of hard to explain, but uh, pretty much this fuel rail requires uh, a screw with an allen head on it because the lip on a 10 millimeter bolt will catch because it sits so close to the rail and we even tried like grinding some of the bolts down to make them work but then you can't get a socket on it so long story short we had to go to the hardware store we got the right bolts the fuel rails on and we got the feed hooked up we got the return hooked up and uh, we're gonna plug the ECU in real quick and turn it on and make sure nothing is leaking but it sits nice and flat down on the intake so I think it should be all right Everything's tight and snug. Got all the clips on there. So we're gonna get our Honda plugged in. Like so. And this is nice because we don't need a jumper harness since the van is already OBD1. This one goes over here. All right, you wanna stay out here and check if it leaks? Yep. Go for it. Do it again. I don't hear anything either, so I think you'll be good. All right, let's check the park. 
Should we just check one? I mean, that's all we need, right? Yeah. If one goes, that's good enough. We need good ground, though. All right. You want to kill your light and see if we can see the spark on there? Spark. Is it? Yep. All right, so we're gonna try to start it up here in a second, but I'm gonna unplug the ECU real quick, just so uh, it's not trying to fire or anything, and we're just gonna turn it over and uh, let the oil pump pump some oil through there so that it can get everywhere before we actually try to fire it up. Then I'll plug the ECU back in, the fuel pump will come on, we'll put all the injectors or all the uh, spark plugs in, I mean, and hopefully she fires up. But I'm feeling pretty confident. It has spark, has fuel, and as long as all the timing's right, we're good to go. She's going to get it, boy. She's going to get it, boy. She's going to get it. Alright, now let's throw the header on real quick and I think we're ready to try it out. That's an issue. That's K Pro. Because <laughs> I was tuning the MR2. <laughs> That's not going to work. That was funny too. It even said the, it recognized the ECU coming online though. Uh, I have to grab my other laptop actually. Or just down, I'll just download S300 on here. Or S Manager. We'll be right back after this quick download. Alright, so we're back and we got S Manager this time. And uh, turn the ignition back on. And let's do this. Alright, there we go. We go new calibration. And we're gonna go to da, 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 stock H22A right there at the bottom. We're gonna hit OK. The current injector size to 240 because we're using the ones out of the Odyssey's old motor, which are smaller because that's all we have. So let's upload that real quick. All right, so the codes are for VTEC spool, which makes sense because there's no VTEC, and the air intake temperature sensor, which we don't have that either. So that's all right. We don't need that for it to run. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. I think we're going to try it out, see how it does. I think it should be good. See if it fires. Okay. All of the vacuum nipples should be blocked off. I think it's ready to go. No fuel leaks. We got the tune loaded. I think she's ready to go, guys. Moment of truth right Let's here. Let's do it, man. Let's do it. It's gonna be so loud. Ready? Go for it. Hmm. Let me give it a little bit of feel. Keep going. It had spark. I mean, it's not getting fuel. It is the getting fuel. The injectors should be all plugged in, right? Yeah, but are the injectors, you know, firing correctly and in the right order and such? I would imagine so. We could probably throw a little bit of starter fluid in there, maybe. Yeah, I, I feel like the injectors aren't going off. Yeah. So we could probably do that. Try but, uh, at least. I don't know if we have any starter fluid. Yeah, we got some do from we? the neighbor. Oh, yeah. <laughs> when, we bought that, when we got that shell from the neighbor. Yeah, I'll go get it. A good squirt. Yeah, just a little bit, just to hear if it, just to hear if it pops. I don't know if it's the fuel or not. Go for it. Yeah. Oh, yep, it's not getting fuel. That's it, dude. So we gotta figure out the injectors. So the injectors aren't firing. I don't know if it's the plugs or the injectors themselves. We need like a noid light. I know Brent has one. You know, mm -hmm. plug it in there and it flashes. I can smell it now. Yeah. Well, hey, it runs though. <laughs> There's smoke coming out of it. I'm not, I'm not as excited because it doesn't run for very long. Oh well, yeah. We need to make it like run. Cause maybe there's a, maybe there's like some sort of ground. Oh, no, no, no. I got it. What? I know what it is. What? I know what it is. What'd you do? I just remembered. 
I know exactly what it is. It's this right here. We don't have oh, the, yeah, they're not the, even connected. We don't have the resistor box. But where is the plug for the resistor box at? It should be there. Yeah, that's definitely it, though. Yeah, for sure. Dude, she's going to run tonight, boys. You can see her. <laughs> yeah. I, yeah. I didn't even know. You guys remember, yeah. that's, that's the plug, the same plug on my hatch where the one wire came undone, and that's what melted my number three piston. It's all this right here. This is the power side to the injectors. Yes, it's, this should be the injector box right back here, but there's no plug coming off it that I can see. Yeah, because... Here, I'm trying to look at it, maybe. Oh, there, there it is. way down there. Oh yeah, I see it, I see it. <laughs> there it is, there it is. That's it, boy. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay, All right. so I'm almost positive it's gonna run right now. Yeah, it, it, And there's obviously no, uh, Radiator, so there's no coolant. We can let it run for a little bit. We're just not gonna let it get very hot But you know, it, it'd be safe to run it for even like a solid 30 seconds to a minute even yeah, more if we really good. needed to but There would be there's, there's no, no there's no point to run it out that hard. We're just gonna fire it up just to make sure it runs good and I Think that would be satisfying enough for you. Yeah All right She's go. ready guys. She's ready Cross your fingers. Ready? It's gonna happen. Ready? Go for it. She's running. Oh, she's gonna be mean. The idle's a little high though. Sounds like there's a vacuum leak somewhere. It's it's ear raping loud though. Is it? <laughs> Insane. Yeah, open headers. Oh, that was she's she's fired right up though. Yeah, dude. Right up. Almost like we know what we're doing. <laughs> we're gonna have it on the street. Here's oh, the the soccer mom band is gonna be trolling them. Trolling the Mustangs, bro. <laughs> All right guys, so we found the problem. It took us a minute, but it turns out we have the wrong air idle control valve. Uh, this is the one that we took off the old manifold that came out of the van, which was the F22. It has the same exact bolt pattern, but the holes definitely don't line up at all. So yeah, if you zoom in right there, you can see the edge of where it's supposed to be, like right there. That's a hole going straight into the intake. So we have the wrong IAC on there, so we're gonna have to find a H series one. And then she should be idling great after that, but that's definitely the issue right there. All right, so I took the air idle control valve off of my hatch. I'm just borrowing it for right now to make this thing run. I have definitely stolen quite a few parts off the hatch, but that's all right, it's <laughs> worth it. Uh, so yeah, hopefully it will idle correctly now and not at 2200 RPM. But uh, yeah, I'm fairly confident that it will now because now there's not a giant hole in the side of the intake. So let's fire her up one more time. Do it again, man. One more time.
Well, guys, she's alive. Dude, it's so sick. And we've, besides the idle, we've had pretty much no issues. Uh, no leaks whatsoever, and also the fuel rail. That was kind of a pain. But we got that. Didn't have any leaks. There's no oil leaking, no fuel leaks. It started right up once we got everything figured out. And it sounds like it's running really good. So, I mean, it looks really clean even just with these headers on there. But obviously those are gonna go here pretty soon. That means I gotta start ordering some turbo things and uh, yeah. But I mean, before I get too carried away, we still need to go back to the junkyard, uh, try to grab a clutch assembly with the pedal and all that and get all that working. Uh, we need to throw the axles in there, still mount the shifter box. There's still a lot more that needs to be done, but she's alive, I'm so excited. Oh, this thing's gonna be so sweet. But uh, yeah, I don't think there's really much more to say tonight. It's already getting pretty late. And uh, yeah, I think that's gonna be it for tonight, guys. And as always, thanks for watching.